Hi, my name is Paula McDonald, and I will be presenting a science is fun home video demonstration today about balloons and baking. When we look at a balloon, we can see that it's full of air. And how do we know this? Well, it's the shape of the balloon, right? That it's, it's inflated, it's round, we can sort of infer that there's going to be air on the inside. Of course, there's also air all around us on the outside of the balloon. It's unseen, but we still know it's there. Well, we're, since the shape of a balloon is, tells us if there's air inside the balloon or not, we're going to be using that today to see if there's a type of gas produced during baking. If you look at a slice of cake, you'll be able to see that there's little air bubbles or air pockets in the cake itself. And these bubbles are made from a gas that's made during baking. This gas is released from baking soda or baking powder that you add to the cake before putting it in the oven, which then, over time while it bakes, releases little bit carbon dioxide bubbles to make the cake more fluffy and give it a nice rise. We're going to see if we can capture that gas today using a balloon. Here's what we'll need for this demonstration. We'll need an uninflated balloon and a funnel and some baking soda. We'll also need an empty water bottle, some vinegar, and we'll also add some food coloring so we can visualize it a bit better. So here's what we'll do. We'll first take the funnel and we'll attach it to the end of the balloon and we'll scoop in some baking soda. Just a few spoonfuls should be enough. If you have trouble getting in, you can also just work it in there using some sort of long utensil. And then once you do that, you can just set the balloon aside for now. What we'll do next is we'll take a drop of the food color, we'll add it to the vinegar. I always like to add a few drops because I like a nice and bright color. Um, you can just you can add whatever color you want and however much. In this case, give it a little swirl, get a nice color. Then we'll pour this inside the empty water bottle. Through the pouring, we'll get a good mixing too, so you don't have to mix it all the way ahead of time. And get about a good inch or so of liquid. And finally, we're going to take the balloon and stretch it over the top of the water bottle, trying to make sure we get a nice, good seal. And so at this point, you'll see that the baking soda is all here at the end of the balloon, and the vinegar is here at the bottom of the water bottle, but they're not touching it. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up at the end of the balloon and dump the baking soda in. What's going to happen, you think? Let's find out. So right away you can tell there's a lot of bubbles being formed. We see that the liquid's rising, you see a lot of bubbles, and these bubbles are the same bubbles that are produced when you bake a cake. It's carbon dioxide that's released from a reaction with the vinegar and the baking soda. We see that this balloon, of course, inflates, telling us that this gas is being released over the course of this reaction. Pretty neat, huh? And so, of course, once it's done, you can either tie it, you can choose to tie off the balloon or just let it go free. So I encourage you to try this experiment at home, see if you can capture this gas producer during baking. And of course, next time you enjoy a slice of cake, take a look. See if you can spot these bubbles for yourself.